a pat on the back for me if this actually makes it up to YouTube. I'm just trying a new makeup style. I already did my eyebrows. I kind of did them straighter than I usually do them. And then peel these base on my eyes because we're not doing anything. I'm just going in and I'm trying to do that line. You know the line that the girls be having when they highlight and it like cuts through? Like it's this sharp line like where you would do winged eyeliner. I'm trying to do that. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know if I'm blending too much or I'm not using a light enough shade I don't know if you know how to achieve that line let me know but I was practicing that and then just like seeing how this new eyebrow style would look on me and I'm not gonna lie I'm not mad at it I'm not it's giving very lifted but yeah, I'm just playing a makeup today so nowhere to go but just trying to see see I got it there but it's not as sharp and I don't know maybe I should be letting it like sit you know like let the concealer sit more or using a lighter shade concealer i'm not really sure but yeah i'm going in i'm contouring my nose this is how this is how you achieved a snatch nose okay this little like b that you do snatched snatch that's the foolproof way to get a snatch nose and i don't know why but these brows and a snatch nose go together i don't know why i'm putting on this lash my glue is not like it's it's not tacky anymore like the glue's not doing what it needs to be doing i think i waited too long i did too much but yeah you're gonna see me try to attach these to my eyes to no avail i'm about to take them off and just apply the glue straight to my eyelids because don't you hate when that happens when you're like okay using a new eye glue eyelash glue and you're like waiting for it to get tacky so you do like your normal routine that you would do with your other eyelash glue but it's not sticking like I know you see that line I know you see that space between my eyelashes so yeah it wasn't see I'm like I'm trying I'm trying even though deep down I know the glue is not active anymore it is definitely not active so I'm going in and I'm blending that contour. Um, you could use less product than I use. I just use that much because I'm about to go in and like snatch it even more at the sides. So yeah, and I didn't even do that much contouring on my um, on my cheeks. I just wanted like a little bit. Yeah, lashes coming off because I know better. So we're just gonna apply the eyelash glue straight to my eyelids in that way I can see when the drew when the glue is clear so that I can spec those eyelashes on there okay so now I'm going in and I'm re-highlighting and I'm very I'm cinching the sides too I'm not gonna lie this was really tricky considering I had eyelash glue on my lids and I wasn't trying to blink but yeah this beauty blender is the goat because I love that edge to really get a clean highlight I tried to use that on my eyes too now that I'm looking back at the footage okay I got it but it's not like I don't know it's not as like defined as I would like it like I want it more cinched but yeah shout out to this beauty blender for helping me achieve the reverse nose contour i want to i don't even know if this is l4 or sonia kashik blender i can't remember but it's a good beauty blender now i'm going and i'm setting i'm gonna go in and bake but i'm setting first because we know better set Wait, what is it? Blend, set, bake. There we go. And now the lash glue is dry. So we're going to put the lashes on our eyes. These are really cute lashes. They're from the beauty supply store. They're like C-curl lashes from IMV. Very nice lashes. But yeah, and I'm going in and I'm baking while also like pressing it into my skin. 
again, this is all fun. We're just seeing what works and if we like it. Just pressing it into the skin, more so in like my mouth and my chin area. And also like going back and like pressing it in there. Because we like, we like a matte finish over here. I do. I feel like it looks really good on my skin. Like I know like the skin tone glossy finish is in. But I feel like for my face, matte is where that is at. Because I'm already about to get oily anyways. So let me get two looks out of one. Yeah, dusting the powder off. I'm really feeling these brows. I'm really feeling them. I'm going in with this bronzer. Oh my gosh, this is the Kevin Aquan bronzer. Love it. And I'm putting that under my eyes. I think I'm giving like sleepy because I didn't mean to put it that low under my eyes. That's all I'm going to get to brush it out, but. love that and then we're just gonna put that in the eyelids because we're not wearing any eyeshadow today and then I'm going in with the Fenty contour stick I really can't think of the name right now which is so bad but I'm going in with that as a lip liner and then I'm going with Morphe aka and then I'm about to go in with this plumping lip gloss from Victoria's Secrets. I don't know the name, but it's like a nudie gloss. And then this um Basha mattifying spray. I like to douse my face <laughs> in setting spray, but I only do that with like the cheaper ones because ain't nobody got time. Okay. But this is a pretty good one. I've had this one for like a while. And then we fan, fan, fan. Fan. And then I'm just going in with some small highlighter. Cupid's bow, chin, on the nose, and my brow bone. There we go. Just for some contrast with that bronzer. And then whatever's left over on the brush on my cheeks. So not too much. Oh, and then I'm about to put that. I'm using this Made by Mitchell eyeshadow. So I'm putting that in the inner corner just to bring some light to the inner corners of my eyes. And yeah, that's pretty much. Oh, I have to. I had to bronze my chin because it's giving not the same shade as my body. So, yeah. And I'm just patting that in. And this is the finished look. If this makes it onto YouTube, then pat on the back for me. <laughs>